Hello guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, fix the problem of regency. In case you're having a uh, forced regency doing a recovery. For instance, you're using uh, your manufacturer recovery, whatever, Lenovo, Dell, factory recovery. You're having, you, in between the recovering process, you have some error saying reagent this, reagent that, reagent C that. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. And guys, pardon me, this is my first uh, recorded video. So now the first thing to know is you don't hit uh, the reset this PC or do reset from your Windows because this will delete uh, your manufacturer uh, recovery partition. It could affect the way your manufacturer wants your PC to run and you could lose some uh, programs that came with your PC including programs like Microsoft Office or Norton or whatever you could lose it if you use reset this PC okay now uh, I will show you what to do when you come to this window you could hold the shift key to come to this window the shift key and press uh, restart your system it will bring you to this window or you can hit a function key for my is F3 for yours it could be different you need to just google on how to get to this troubleshooting windows in windows 10 now you go to advance okay I, I you see when I came to this window you don't do restore MSI factory because it will give you the same error now what you do you go to advance you see command prompt I hope this camera is written. Uh, uh, oh boy. I don't know if you guys can see this. I uh, just get it closer. Okay. Okay, now you can see. Okay, okay. So uh, in this place, I'm I'm going to type reagent C, uh, just to show you guys that uh, there is no reagent C in this X boot, which is supposed to be, which is supposed to help you doing your recovery process. Okay, in. Uh, for my, I've added the reagent C, um, so you won't get uh, this this message you normally get. For my case, I've added the reagent C. So I'll, I'll I'll show you guys how to add reagent C to this S boot because this required doing your recovery process. Now what I do is I navigate to my Windows pa uh, partition, which is C. Okay, then I do uh, CD and navigate to Windows. Windows, Windows, four slash system thirty two. Okay, system thirty two. Then I copy the agency re agent agency dot ESE. Uh, to that X boot uh, Windows System 32. So I, I put X, okay, put, uh, put forward slash Windows, I mean backward slash, sorry, Windows slash System 32. System 32. <laughs> See, I'm very slow in typing. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I hit enter. Uh, now, because in my case, I already uh, copied, I've done the copy uh, of the regency before, so it's asking for overwrite. In your case, it will just copy to say one file copy, one file copied. So I'm just going to say no. Um, I'll say no. Uh, because I've copied it already. Okay, now once you've done the copying, 
uh, you navigate to your X uh, partition, you hit enter. Now you type reagent, reagent C, reagent C. I hope you've seen this, reagent C. Uh, uh, forward slash, forward slash, you put disable, disable. Then you do it again, but this time with enable. Enable E E and A B. Okay. Then that is it. With this, you won't be getting a, a regency uh, errors and messages and stuff like that. So, but if this doesn't work for you, uh, you leave the comment below so that I can help you. In case you're stuck in BIOS or you've lost your Windows and all that, you can't go to this to this section. You comment below. I'll post a video about that to help you. Okay, uh, and also, if you lost your recovery partition, uh, don't worry. I can. <laughs> you request in the comment below. I post a video to show you how to get your recovery files and all that. And also, if you played around with your recovery partition and you deleted some files and you don't know how it is arranged, and your MSI or your manufacturer recovery is saying that the partition is not in default, I will show you how to place the whole file back. And yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you in doing your recovery. Okay.